So, morning everyone, welcome. Um, welcome to the show. Uh, for any of you that have read the script, I'm sure you'll realize that it's quite different and out there. Um, not a normal film shoot that most of us are used to. Uh, there's a lot of ballet that you guys will be seeing over the next three weeks and as Wayden pointed out to me in pre-production, the majority of us have never seen ballet before so I hope you guys watch and enjoy. So to say welcome and thank you to everyone for being here. Um, just to follow up with what Dibby said, there's a lot of amazing experience in this room but what we have is 18 dancers that have never been on film before. So please I'm asking if you can help in that process and that just be mindful that our talent isn't from this world. Um, and then blossoming and joy. Hope you have a, a good time. As we approached filming, I got more and more paranoid <laughs> that it wasn't going to be ready and it wasn't going to be good enough. Um, because what you see in a studio is nothing like what it's going to be when you get onto the set. I think the biggest challenge thus far has been um, anticipating how long it would take to complete certain sequences. Um, usually when we have dancers on set, they'll be there for a specific sequence. Um, and it's always an afterthought. You'd get them in, they'd be in the background, maybe you'd do an hour or two of specials on the dance. But to actually have them as the main cast and actually have dancing as the main thing, there's so many things that uh, I never even thought of in pre-production that looking back I would have. And although we'd got the concept of the set, we'd seen the set, we'd seen the 3D images of the set, we were aware of it in the studio. When the dancers actually got onto the set, it was like, ah, right. Now let's try and rethink the whole thing. So I think everybody's confidence level, including my own, took a dip. And we thought, ah, have we actually bitten off more than we can chew here? major challenge directing the ballet was working with the ballet dancers who were used to theatre and not film. So we had to get ourselves into a different frame of mind and also we're not used to as dancers the concept of high energy dropping, high energy dropping. We're used to going in an hour and a half before a performance, doing a full-on class, going on stage, two hours of physical slog, then it's over. Making a movie of a dance is very different and everybody had to get into a different frame of mind. Just going from actors to dancers, that big difference that you have. Oh, actors you can just, there you go, give me another take, another take, that's what you get paid to do. But dancers are used to doing an hour or hour and a half of dance and that's it. And we're asking them to do a lot more than that. Morning, Doctor. This is uh, this is where we perform surgery on um, darkness. Darkness is about to give birth. We've got the full medical team here, and um, it's a lot of pressure. Of course. Never delivered a crystal before, but someone's going to do it. Someone's going to do it. Might as well be me. first few weeks I focused entirely on making it work as a theatre production to ensure the dancers and choreographers were in their comfort zone. If I was going to change anything to achieve the film, I needed the dancers and the choreographers to trust me. I did everything I could to make sure the story was being conveyed in the dance. I even danced out the scenes myself, much to everyone's amusement. As soon as the story started to emerge as a theatre production, I knew we had something truly magical. Winning over their trust through the rehearsal phase would be one of the most important parts of the entire production for me. From there, I could slowly introduce the film's elements and more drama, taking them from just expressing their characters through dance to adding layers of emotion and facial expressions that would help portray their, what I call, their full trinity. One color, one vice, 
and one virtue. In the film industry, it's the, the stopping and the starting and the changing of scenes, and that I'm obviously not used to because I'm used to stage. So that, was, that also took a bit of adjusting too. If I do like live shows, I'd start, I'd always have like my set routine and by like seven, say the show starts at eight, seven thirty is point shoot time, then it's focus time, then it's this time, then it's that time. And with this, you obviously didn't have that, but every single take is like a performance. So it's not less important, if that makes sense. And even though you know you've got two or three or four takes, you want every take to be perfect. The most challenging has been, I think, keeping everybody motivated. Um, between like takes and things and um, the makeup takes very long and putting in the costumes it's, it's just an extremely long process um, so trying to keep everybody like very positive that's I think that's been very difficult and then once the, the momentum gets going then it starts being like everything's builds up again to be beautiful. For me to run this set effectively, I need you guys to focus and pay attention to what's going on. When I shout stand by, it means get ready. It means shut up, focus, and zone in. Okay? Because if I have to get everyone here ready, then walk to the back of the stage and get everyone there ready, I'm gonna waste so much time, and it's gonna take a very short amount of time for me to start hating you guys and for you guys to start hating me. Okay? We've got a lot of stuff to do, we've got a big production to do. We want to make sure you guys look as good as you can look. We get here in the day, our shooting plan for the day yeah. is to get all of you guys made up and dressed. Sorry, made up, yeah. do a walk through, you guys are going to go do plus, then get dressed. By that stage, I only have an hour and a half to two hours to shoot before I have to break the crew for lunch. I mean, I've been on sets where the makeup is quite extensive and the costuming and everything. Uh, but five hours every single morning just waiting for all the dancers to get ready is something in itself, you know, and it's a, it's a process, and, but it has to happen because we all have to achieve that beautiful image that Royden wants. And the makeup was a, was a big thing for me because I would get here and then we would do makeup and then it would go over time, then I'd miss ballet class, then I'd have to go and do my own class, then I'd have to go back into makeup and then I don't have time to do my focus and pull myself towards myself. So that was like unsettling for me in the beginning when I really it pushed my boundaries in the sense of um, I learned to have a lot of patience. I'm waiting for my makeup to be done, so I'm trying to catch like a few minutes of just lying on the couch and doing nothing. Well, for dancers, it's hard to get your body warm at half past five in the morning in a cold environment and stay warm for the next four hours. Um, so I think that would probably be the hardest part of this journey. Before you take on anything hectic, you have to prepare your body, prepare your muscles. So right now I'm just kind of doing the same thing, preparing my body, warming up, so that by the time I get called to be on stage to rehearse what I have to rehearse, my body is ready, because it's very easy to just get injuries if you jump into things and just start jumping around and you're not warm. So trying to avoid that because as my career is based on my body as an instrument.